Okay, it is Luxury Fred Sherman, and I am the automotive editor for Business Traveler Magazine, and I've got another great car, or actually truck review for you guys today. This, this is the 2019 Chevy Silverado LT 4x4 Double Cab. This is the 2019 Chevy Silverado pickup truck, and it's a 4x4 four-wheel drive. It's the double cab, which has the uh, extra seats uh, in the back there, and it is the LT model, which is uh, not quite the top premium luxury level, but not the bottom level either. So here's what you're going to see in this review you're going to see a full tour of the outside of the Silverado. You're going to see a full tour of the inside of the Silverado. And then I'm going to give it my review. I've had the Silverado for about two weeks, driving it all over Southern California. And um, so yeah, so you're going to see all that, including my full review of what it's like to drive and live with the Silverado. Like I do with all the cars I review, I really use them. I use this to go to the grocery store. I did some moving around the house. I used it for that. And, uh, you know, do all those kind of normal driving things to really get an idea of what it's like to drive. Um, before I keep rambling on, let me, of course, ask you to please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. All you gotta do is click the little red subscribe button and I would appreciate it immensely. And if you already have subscribed, hey, thank you very much. So let's start with a tour. Uh, let me take you on a tour of the outside and show you what the Silverado looks like. Look at the outside. Very imposing front end. You do have the optional side steps there. I like the wheels. And then you can see the profile with the double cab and the full size bed there. show you the back view here you can see you got the trailer hitch there really red right all right now let's uh, go inside and let me give you a look around uh, at the inside of the Silverado and some of the features and functions and things like that okay so taking a look inside uh, we have some nice you know kind of wood trim pieces here Everything has a nice uh, fit and finish. You know, not extremely luxurious, but nice. Um, very good build quality, no rattles. Everything is uh, well put together. Um, so, so let me show you a, a look around. Kind of starting on the left here. You have your lighting controls here. You have your, uh, again, the lights for the back of the truck. This changes the uh, brightness there. Uh, this gives you your 4x4 settings. Uh, this is your trailer control, and this is uh, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive uh, for off-roading and an auto setting. So then you have a basic, uh, you know, old-school analog display here. Uh, you do have auto start-stop for good mileage. You can change uh, what's, 
what's displayed in the middle. Uh, fuel economy, you'll see, you can see, past 50 miles, average has only been 13.1 miles per gallon, best 27. I was watching it on the freeway, it was averaging about 24 mpg on the freeway. Uh, here you have your cruise control and your infotainment controls over here. Then you have a very nice, uh, I like the center display here, and if we put it into the home mode, then you kind of go through like this for all the different services. Uh, you can see that trailering, oops. Uh, something interesting that I was looking at is that you have apps that you can get on this uh, where you actually download the apps to the car. Uh, Spotify and iHeartRadio, Pandora, things like that. And then you even have, uh, you have like a Wall Street Journal thing that gives you, I think this is podcasts. Um, so these are podcasts from the Wall Street Journal that uh, you can play and listen to. And then uh, same thing with uh, USA Today. I was playing this, I was exploring this when I was in the line at the drive through the other day. Uh, so with USA Today, you have different uh, podcasts as well that you can listen to, but I like how this is kind of like a tablet that goes back and forth. Um, marketplace is interesting. You can download some apps that allow you to buy things through the car. Um, the things that I were seeing before were Exxon Mobil Gas and Shell. Uh, so we got a little slowdown in the internet here. Um, so, you know, lots of functions here. You have your camera, uh, both kind of a backup camera and then specifically for trailering. You know, when I turn the wheel, it shows me where the uh, hitch is by the end of that yellow thing. The other infotainment controls here, uh, trailer brakes setting there. Again, these are some things that I don't use that much, so I don't know what they all are. Uh, something else that you have, you have this big center console here, but then if you put that up, then you can see that you can actually fit three people in the front. This middle thing becomes a little seat. So this truck will fit six people. You can fit three in the back and three in the front, which is a lot of people in a pickup truck with the full bed. So then you just pull that down and then that again becomes a center console and then you have a large space in here uh, in the center. See? Uh, very comfortable seats. This has optional front leather seating surfaces. Uh, in a minute I'm going to go over all the options that this has so you know the full list. And then if we, uh, so we have two glove compartments over here. Uh, you have your overhead controls up there. No sunroof in this one. Then if we move into the back. So as I was saying before, this is a double cab. Double cab has the seat back here, but it has a little less space in the back than the crew cab, but it has a bigger bed than the crew cab. So if you're gonna drive people around a lot, you might want the crew cab because there's more space back here, but at the expense of a little smaller bed. Uh, again, you can sit three people back here and it is tight, but you know, it's not horrible. Uh, this front seat is back a little far, but you can see with that seat in the normal position, that you have decent leg room and you also have decent uh, head room for, I'm short, you can see there's a lot of room above my head. You also have uh, decent head room back here and then, you know, nice little amenities, so to speak, and things like that. Couple functions. While I'm outside the truck here, like all Chevys, or most Chevys, I think you do have remote start, which I love out here in hot Palm Springs. As soon as I walk out the door, I can start the truck and get the air conditioning going, so by the time I get in it, it's a little bit cool. And then we also have a um, remote control for the tailgate. If we push that twice, it goes down. 
but it doesn't go up automatically. And then uh, looking at the bed, this does have the optional uh, bed liner, uh, the physical bed liner, and then I think it also has the spray on bed liner in addition to the physical bed liner as well. You have a, uh, a power outlet back here, you have lights uh, back there, and then you can see there's lots of uh, tie downs uh, back here as well. You do have a step rear bumper, and then you have a light and uh, a window here in the back. Okay. So I just wanted to talk quickly about the options this particular truck has that you've seen in the tour. It has the convenience package and convenience package two, which is everything from heated seats and heated steering wheel to remote start. It has the safety package, which is the uh, front and rear parking assist, lane change alert, things like that. Leather package, which is the uh, leather front seating surfaces. It's got the side uh, tubular assist steps, and then everything else is kind of self-explanatory there. And with the base price is 40200 and with those options, uh, plus the destination charge, the truck, as you see it there, which is pretty much a fully loaded LT trim level, uh, is 49,365. So before I start talking about my opinion, let me just say that I'm not normally a pickup truck guy. And by that I mean I don't really have a job that involves driving a pickup. I don't have a uh, sporting interest or recreational interest or you know, I don't go camping or anything like that. So I really don't drive a lot of pickups. So a couple people were asking me about this, uh, asking me, hey, how do you like the Silverado? It's a little difficult because I haven't driven a lot of other pickup trucks. When it comes to luxury cars and stuff like that, I've driven lots of them so I can easily compare one with the other. So I haven't driven a Dodge Ram. I haven't driven a Ford pickup truck. Uh, pretty much only driven Chevys. I've driven a couple GMC trucks as well. So I want to preface my review with saying that I haven't driven those other brands. I like this. The, the first thing is it's big. It's really big. This is a full-size pickup truck, of course, and that means it is as wide as a Chevy Suburban. As a matter of fact, it is six inches longer than a Chevy Suburban. So it's big. It takes some getting used to in terms of, you know, keeping it in the lane. It takes some getting used to in terms of parking it. That, you know, I've had to figure out how to make wide turns and things like that to get it into parking spaces, especially like little regular parking spaces at the supermarket and things like that. I really use the camera a lot to see where I am in terms of the front of the truck. And so that's a, a nice amenity to have. Um, this has a unique engine. It has, although you can get lots of different engines with the Silverado, this has a 2.7 liter turbocharged I4 engine, inline four, with variable valve timing and dual overhead cam. Okay, so uh, let me give you some details now, if that's okay. So that I-4 engine um, gives you, it also has a direct injection, has 16 valves, it has active fuel management, gives you 310 horsepower and 348 um, foot-pounds of torque, or pound-feet of torque. I always get those backwards. Uh, so 310 horsepower, 348 pound-feet of torque. It's, it's interesting in that the engine is kind of quiet. So when you start up most big trucks, you kind of feel the engine and you, you hear it. This is very quiet and it, it really doesn't vibrate or anything. It's very subtle. Um, in terms of power, it's very quick. Uh, the turbocharged engine, you know, it's a quick truck to drive. It's not clunky or slow or anything like that. Um, I have driven it with some full loads and you know you can start to feel the difference between the V8 engine and the V4 
but it still feels powerful. Uh, obviously, you can get a wide range of other engines, including a six-cylinder and several different uh, V8 options. Uh, this has the eight-speed automatic transmission. So on the freeway, it's really nice. That, that size and that mass really makes it ride nice, comfortable, smooth. Definitely, in terms of the power to get on the freeway and passing people, no, no problem whatsoever. Really quick and, and really nicely powered for its size. Uh, very quiet on the freeway. Very luxurious and comfortable. Um... And overall, very nice experience uh, to drive it. You know, it's got, it's not the top of the line in terms of all the luxury amenities and things like that, but it has leather seating surfaces and, you know, your, your uh, array of Apple CarPlay and, and Android Auto and kind of all those, those luxury features that, that really make it enjoyable to drive. Well, I think that's it. That completes my review of the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado LT Double Cab 4x4. Uh, thank you very much for watching. You can always see more on my blog at luxuryfred.com. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. Leave me a comment under the video. Let me know what you think. Let me know other things that you want to see me review, other cars or trucks. And um, you can follow me, of course, on social media, at Luxury Fred. And my automotive Instagram is at Drive With Fred. And, of course, you can read my full uh, car reviews on the Business Traveler website, businesstravelerusa.com. And you can also read them each month in the print magazine. Thank you very much for watching.